Alrighty. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alrighty, guys. Welcome to a new video. Today, we are playing some Graves Jungle. Currently, we're playing between D2 and Master's ELO. And this should be a high ELO Graves gameplay guide for you. So, playing Graves versus Kha'Zix here. Um, not the best Graves matchup, but you can win this. But if the Kha'Zix gets any early kills, it becomes very, very hard for you to deal with. And he can basically just spawn camp you anywhere on a GG entrance and one-shot you. Which you need to be very, very cautious of if he gets any kills. The level 4 fight, though, I think is very, very Graves favored unless you completely fuck it up and just, like, face check him. And the clear is slightly beneficial for you as Graves, so you can actually, you know, potentially get some kind of lead on him on the early first clear. That being said, though, that's also going to be dependent on your team. Like, this game, I would like to be invading him on his top side route, but I have zero prior on my top laner. And the Echo Rotate is actually quite good. So instead, I will be going for a full clear. We see these guys fighting pretty hard. Don't know where Kha'Zix is yet. We showed mid just now. I'm getting a slight lead over Kha'Zix here. Okay, bot lane is looking pretty low. I'm just going to hit this and continue moving down here. I think Kha'Zix is in this bush. Oh, he's not. This should be free then. Boom, boom, boom. Not sure how she died, but yeah. He can stop any of these recalls. It's kind of big. Doesn't it's gonna be able to though. Nice, because it stopped his recall. That's huge. Let's go. So we made the right choice here. We're gonna go invade Kha'Zix, take all his shit. We're gonna skip the crap, we are gonna hit it just once or twice here, just for E stacks and also fleet footwork. Gonna walk here. As you can see, we're going to take this pretty quickly. I spot is snowballing hard. Let's be kind of careful here. I don't want to gank her in, but I do want to prevent her from dying to Kha'Zix ganks. Okay, beautiful stuff. Yeah, I was about to ping this. Kills rat. Beautiful. This guy has 20 CS. Oh, please jump on me here. bug beautiful stuff there and that's really really good for my mid laner very happy to give him the kill i could have got that kill solo if i wanted to but i did not particularly want to i want to try and give my mid laner something back because he's been getting a little bit fucked over by the jungle pressure so if i can do this now it does two things it helps with my mid laner's emotional instability that will be brewing and on top of that it also equalizes his lane um, it's not equal yet. It's actually like he's behind right now, but off the next base he'll actually be equal if not ahead. And so that's beneficial for my mid. We do want to keep that, um, you know, somewhat equal at least. Do the best we can there. And we've created a huge JG gap over Kha'Zix right now. Base, gonna ping out this is where Kha'Zix is. Might go to that also. 
So let's do a little quick ping on those two. They also need to take this as soon as possible. Boom, 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 boom. All of these things. And you can see we've got this lovely vision inside Kha'Zix's topside jungle, which definitely will help for two things. It'll help for both Echo, see? Boom. And it'll also help for any future Kha'Zix plays. And this is actually looking insanely nice. Kha'Zix running around level four, like a little fucking cockroach running through the jungle. Anyway, right now we're skipping our camps, guys to make this play straight into Kha'Zix's topside jungle to punish him because we're never going to get to this play on time, right? But what we can do is we can see if we can punish him on the other side of the map. And if we win the bot side fight and I also punish him on the top side, what can he do? If we lose the bottom side fight, well, that's unfortunate. I couldn't be there anyway, but at least then he doesn't get to get both things. And so his snowball is then reduced if he does win. If he doesn't win, he's just getting fucked. And like I said in a previous video, guys, you, know, you always want to be in the position where you're doing the fucking, not the one getting fucked. And that's hopefully what these guides are teaching you. How to win more games and fuck noobs. Okay, this is actually looking a little bit free here. Hold on a second. It's fine. I'll take that little chunk onto him. Is where Kha'Zix is likely to be. Let's cross over to here. Oh, look at Kha'Zix. He is just so sad. Look at the little bug. <laughs> ah, two level JG gap. Unlucky bug boy. Unlucky. And so he has a couple options here after this. He can go to his Raptors. He can also try to do drag and he can maybe go into my bot side. But realistically, I do not think it's an option for him to go into my bot side here. I think that he will find that to be quite painful if he does it. And I don't think he can do dragon either. And the reason I don't think he can do the dragon is because... This dragon actually is not fast, but also does a lot of damage. And if I show at any point while he's doing that, I think that he is in for a world of pain. So with that being said, I think he actually doesn't do it. So most likely he ganks bot or takes my camps on the bot side, I think. Now I'm going to see if I can get top lane here and um, stop his base. Beautiful. What? That was kind of annoying. Anyway, beautiful stuff here. Reset. Okay, he's out. <coughs> nice. So, Kha'Zix is going to go into here. I'm going to run straight mid, drop this Herald. That should give my mid laner a little bit of a buff. And we see the Kha'Zix here off that previous ward from earlier, so I'm pinging that out instantly. Making sure that my bot lane no. And then I'll be going down bot side to match this Kha'Zix down here. As soon as I drop the Herald. And that way I'm able to prevent any drag and prevent any, you know, severe... Um, jungle excursion into the bot lane where I lose a lot. Can we uh, focus on this maybe? I right, don't waste all my fucking time. Oh my god. Okay, I've got to get to this drag. I think this is exactly where Kha'Zix is, if not my bot side camps. So I'm running here ASAP. I'm going to chuck a ward down. He's not here. He's in my jungle then. Now I want to quickly. What the fuck? I'm a dirty, disgusting liar. Oh, what? Hit this. You fucking frog. Oh, 
Why are we fucking around doing the drag, man? There's ten bajillion things to do. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't want to do drag here because I don't want to waste the tempo, guys. I've got my fucking foot on this Kha'Zix's throat. And they want me to stop and do a dragon? Hell no. Might lose my topside camps here. Hopefully this guy can walk through the JG. Nice. Does he know if little bug boy got in there? There he is. Oh, it's so beautiful. Playing high tempo too. G little wall jam. Oh, actually, okay. Oh, GG boys. We've done it. It is game over. This is a 15 art if I've ever seen it. This is a 15 -er. And, you know, some of you might be looking at this like, oh, like Ash Dinting or whatever, whatever. Why is Ash Dinting? Oh, we ganked her level 3, right? This is impacting it. Our bot lane then snowballing it. Well, of course they should. They got early game ganks. You always got to be thinking about these things. You know, if you're playing really, really well, you'll notice that you have a better AFK rate. So a lot of times when people tell me that like, you know, oh, they're always on the team with their person who's AFKing, to me, what is this immediately telling me? It's immediately telling me that they, right, are not impacting the games to a higher degree or they're impacting the games negatively. They are doing something that is reducing the rate at which their teammates want to try out. So you need to always think about this. If you think that there's either one of two situations, guys, you should always have you know, less AFKs on your team than the enemy team if your mental is good because, you know, five versus four. But you can even increase that more, right, if you are performing good. The like Kha'Zix here, we win this. Holy shit. Oh. I played that bad. All right, just fucking typing, thinking, talking. All right, yeah, see, so you should always have the better AFK rate on your team if you are not doing you know any of the afking yourself right but then on top of that if you're playing really really well you should be making the enemy team have more afks right if you're smurfing you will notice the enemy team has more afks if you are a high impact player you will notice that the enemy team afks more often than your team and that whenever you're not has just subscribed not in brackets okay thank you very much appreciate that by the way this is not a uh this is not a stream this is a recording but uh, I just don't have the alerts off. But yeah, shout out to Nut. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, Ash didn't recall at all. Uh, that makes sense actually, because she didn't think. Oh, I love that, man. That just makes me so happy when for some reason, he gets to fucking run out of my auto attack, man. This is the worst champion in the game, by the way, guys. Don't ever let anyone tell you the Graves is broken. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, go jump on me, day. Eat me, you fucking frog! Beautiful. Ooh, hello. Oh, shit. Be some boogie man from my team coming in behind her, right? be seeing them every team has not ff15 so i guess we'll do some herald and then we'll like go drop it and that kind of stuff whilst i'm doing this since uh don't have too much else to say this game is pretty much over um if you guys want to improve your gameplay more than you can get from just watching these videos check out the coaching at coachmag.com so sorry about these fucking birds man go uh get out there and live with these guys a little bit of freedom or something noisy bastards Boom, boom. We'll quickly do some KFC here. Oh, we'll reset. 
group up with our teammates and try and end. Um, you know, we're also just going to chill on like another Dirk here. I don't think it really particularly matters, but I'm just going to grab a Dirk, you know. Maybe I can ult someone in the dome, help us end a little bit quicker. Got drag up, we're not going to go do that. Realistically here, guys, the best way to end this game out is probably just Siege, drop Herald, and... Um, yeah, just keep watching. I may, like, some tragedy may occur. My teammates might start trolling. Might end up being a hard game, but this should be, you know, as if things all go to plan, this should be pretty free. Uh, I want to try and get across here to bot lane, drop the Herald bot, because I don't want to have to use a charge on this tower. I'm gonna get in here. Look, there we go. Gwen's uh, starting it. She is trying to make the game difficult. Love that, love that. Okay. It's fine as long as he fucks off. Why is Herald bugged, man? This is like the third game this has happened to me. This fucking stupid purple bug fuck. Stupid fucking Herald. It nearly cost me a game, by the way, yesterday. Is it bugged? On like a backdoor race? 20 minutes? Anyway, that's gonna be it, guys. Until next time, take care on the rift. Oh, wait. Runes. Of course. Shut up, cunt. Stupid bird. Yeah, there and fucking give you a left right good night. Rat bastard. Alright. Um, bada bing, bada boom. Loading, loading, loading. Let's get a little uh, coaching plug ready. Oh, do I have one to copy paste easy? Nope. Man. Oh. Good we on it here. Um, let's go with the Silas. Get the cool. Stupid bird. Uh, D2 plus 24. Yada, yada, yada. Beautiful. Damage. Yeah, look, we could have more damage, but really they spent a lot of time not interacting with us. And uh, here's the runes here, guys. All right, if you guys have any questions, any comments, we're going to leave them down below. If you want to see more of it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff so you get more of these videos in your algorithm or more videos from people that are like adjacent to me, other content creators, kingsticks, that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, until next time, take care. Good luck on Rift. Peace out.